Welcome to Design to Inspire with your host, Charlene Clark Hewitt. Today, we continue to motivate, engage, and inspire you. And what better way to inspire you than with the cornerstone boss? Of course, you will remember him. If you don't, I will remind you. But today, I speak with none other than Michael Reed. You would have remembered his story when he was frustrated, frustrated with the system, frustrated with trying and not succeeding. And so he would have shared his frustration with the social media people. And of course, you would have reached out, you assisted, and now his frustration is turned into pleasure, as a matter of fact, into business. So today, help me welcome Michael Reed. Yes, you can. Yes. All right, so Michael, you spoke about your mentor, Mr. Alan Green. Mr. Green, thank you for joining us on this conversation with Michael. Thank you so very much. And welcome to Design to Inspire, where we continue to motivate and inspire our nation youths. Now, uh, Mr. Green, could you tell me how did you meet Michael? Well, you know, um, Michael is a Christian, a Seventh Adventist, so I would have known him within that circle. Mm -hmm. um, you know, crossing path and at times encouraging him, exchanging words, that type of thing. So, you know, being exposed to the, the church, I would have known him from that platform. Okay, so you knew him because he was very active in, in church. Very active, yeah. What would you say he, his personality, the type of young man he was, what, how would you describe him then when you knew him? Michael is a born leader, you know? Um, he has a vision, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you, can, you can know a leader from a follower mm -hmm. based on how he would relate to his peers, you know? He is a visionary and um, yeah, very spiritual too, very God-fearing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he, 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 he sees five years ahead of the average person. Wow, wow, forward thinking. There we go. Right, but he spoke about some challenges that he was facing. Um, um, he, he was practically facing those challenges on his own, you know, not wanting to be assisted. How did, did you see that though? Did you see that part of him? Well, not in depth, but you could see a brother who was facing some challenges, of course, um, from a dysfunctional family. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was very much close to him, yes, but mommy was not so much in the picture. Right. Um, you know, growing up in a foster home, you know, that would change the dynamics of a normal life. So mm -hmm. the social part of his life was somewhat a challenge, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so you could see a Michael who, you know, he, he, he knew, yes, that I've been exposed to issues and challenges in my youth, mm -hmm. but um, I'm, I'm, I'm able, you know, to, to really surmount the challenges. 
Of mm -hmm. course, he's young, and there are times he would succumb to the temptations and deviate and do things like any normal person. But mm -hmm. as I said, he's always a God-fearing person. Um, you know, he has he has this self-will. You know, he's driven, knowing that you know something good is gonna come out of this. And mm -hmm. you can see that even though he might be facing some tough times. Mm -hmm. God is always in his in his heart, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and probably that is why he is where he is today because of yeah. you know him being that God fearing person. Yeah. Like all of us, you would have seen that cry, that cry for help, right? Mm -hmm. When you saw it, how, what 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 came to mind? I mean, how did you react? I mean, what what, what was your reaction what was your thoughts yeah so when i saw the video really um that was not the michael i know that takes the facial expression you know the the aggression the tone you could see a brother who as if he really hit a a dead wall you know a dead end mm -hmm. and when i looked at you know the tears coming down his cheek, it really touched my heart. And, um, you know, you could, you could hear the voice. I heard two voices. One saying, me I try, you know, me I try. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And crying out for some form of help. Mm -hmm. And another voice saying, watch out, anything, anything now, you know. They go mm -hmm. rob people. So you could mm -hmm. see an in, a inside conflict going on. Mm -hmm. And when I saw that, I, I could hear the real Michael crying out. Pray mm -hmm. for me, you know, pray for me. That's the real Michael. Um, mm -hmm. And then the only thing I did, I said, Lord, what must I do? Because I know him. Should I, should I just be abstract and watch it from a distance or should I really get involved? Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, I heard the voice said, Alan, pull this young man on the wing. Pull him mm -hmm. under your wing. And so I shared it with some church folks and I said, hey, we need prayers for this brother immediately. We need to pray for him. Mm -hmm. And then um, I would make contact with him. I said, I need to, I need to see you. I need to see you like ASAP. We need to talk. And we, 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 we you know, we linked up and um, I really shared some, some stuff with him. It was one of those moments he really laid down, um, mm -hmm. was emotional. And I shared with him, I told him that I've made this choice to really take you under my wings because it's one thing to say, wow, I, I'll pray for you or I'll send some, some help. It's, an, right. it's different when you really pull somebody mm -hmm. so close into your social space, especially when people have question signs on a young man like this. But it, it goes to show that to change lives, you know, to make a positive impact on many persons who have behavioral defects, you have to be like the Jesus. You have mm -hmm. to lift it and come into, into his social space so that we can see change. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how did he accept you trying to assist him? How did he accept that? Yeah. Again, let me tell you. <laughs> he said to me, Alan, you know, real, no real. Real, no real. In other words, if you're fake, I'll know you. If you're real, mm -hmm. I know you. That's it all. So it's like in the Christian world, they say spiritual things are spiritually discerned. So it's like based on how I came across to him, just being real, and that's how we've always been. You know, you talk him language, you understand the youth, you know, come for condemn him or judge him or diss him. You say, yo, me understand where I got you, know, my lad. I'm a day of you. You know what I mean? So what's your anything or anything to the wire? I just with it. Right, you right. blow the glass, but just some of the video and watch. I mean, not there so to encourage you, foolish is where I do. My comments of help you and do the things and whatever it takes, me did in your corner. So when I'm on hear them thing there, and that the youth them want here, you know, them no one uh, come see a societal type of uh, image where how are you, young man? Um, all is well to help with that man, all is not well, you know. What I mean, you have to go down to the youth them level and 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 mingle with them and make them know, say, watch on you. Yeah, it's not a it's not a part time thing. It's a full time thing. Me there for you and to the wire, 
And it's an old talk thing. It's, it's, it's something where you have to act out. And from the youth, see that? You know what I mean? Good to go. So, mm -hmm. me not left it because mm -hmm. he need guidance. You know what I mean? And as a, as a counseling psychologist, I realize that mentally, when a man go through depression and go through stress and the fear factor kicks in and the anxiety disorder and everything start get unbalanced, you have to, you have to apply certain techniques for, so, so that you can experience mental stability. You mental know, the social <laughs> aspect, he get back into, 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 into the thing with his friends. All these areas you have to address. You know, mm -hmm. pray with him and make him know, say, watch out. You're good to go, man. Yeah. Exactly. And how important is it? Because, you know, a lot of us who feels as though we can assist the youth, we can help them and we go into their communities and we, are, we just look different from them. Right, we just look different from them. We are speaking a language they don't understand. As a matter of fact, they are speaking a language that we don't want to understand. And, and how important is it for us who are change makers, us who want to call ourselves inspirational individuals who want to inspire the youths towards greatness? Greatness. How important is it for you to really understand the individual um, whom you're engaging? It's simple. You know? It's simple. As we say, we are Christians. You use a Jesus model. Before Christ came to earth, you know, in a heaven, my king, king of kings and all of that. Even when you come to earth, he's still king. But before, mm -hmm. when on his way to make the transition from heaven to earth, there's a word we call it incarnation, which mm -hmm. is divinity uniting and blending with humanity. So in order for the top man to really make that transition into the lives of the ghetto youth, first, he must have Lego them type of upscale liberty and the upscale language. He must have transform and understand that it's not a pretense. We are all Jamaicans, we know the dialect. You know what I mean? We know tough life. You know I mean? Some of them are wearing all jacket and tie and they're hungry more than the ghetto youth, you know? Mm -hmm. They're not happy, you know, mm -hmm. I tell you, it's just fictitious. So that's what I say, real, no real. If mm -hmm. you would see your ink and look through you like a mirror, you know, say, watch it, you're fake or you're real. You mm -hmm. understand me? So you see, I will share a scenario with you. Mm -hmm. I used to deal with the, the youth, they push a car at Charles Garden Market, forgive them literacy, numeracy, and some counseling. And I say, I'm not going down there with no shirt and tie, you know. So I put on my, my, my clothes, normal clothes, and I go down there and I say, yo, now nah, hear me now. I cook, I cook food and I go play football, you know. And I say, yo, big man, you're not, you're not real. And I say, where are chats, man? We're coming for, 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 for make it happen. And when we cook the food, we play the football, we go to the beach with the youth, them. I talk about the dirty youth, them up on the road, I push cat and I sell them things, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was able to get at least 30 to 40 youngsters right on my foot easy. I teach them and them say, Jano, you know, say a different, my lad. I say, as I think, set, man, the whole way I get to you, you know, I will grow up in this, but you have to be very skillful for reach them because the, the chalk and talk methodology, it not going to work because of that, them are run from. But they are mm -hmm. willing to get the same information packaged in a one very tactful manner. At the end of the day, uh, quite a few of the, those guys were rescued from off the street, went back mm -hmm. into the formal school system, some get jobs and moving on. But you have to be very tactful and skillful how to really make that intervention. Because the truth is, the youth named Michael is not a fool, you know. Mm -hmm. Intelligent youth. You understand me? Very, um, very intelligent. So Mr. Green, I say, right now, he say, if you want to eat that, you're going to roll with me, you know. Him talk straight, and I'm ready to them. You understand me? I make him know, say, bad man, I don't work with fool like that, you know. Because I don't fool work with fool. You understand me? So I make him know that straight. So think, it thinks inside. It's a real, no real. And it's good, right. it's good like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Mr. Green, what, what, how do you see Michael's future? I mean, what do you envision for Michael? The Michael that, that, that you are now mentoring, what do you envision for Michael in the future? Yeah, man, you're asking some brilliant questions. You see, as I said, and, and he, he, he knows this, I said to Michael, Michael, listen, you, I see you as a father. I see you as a husband. I see you owning your own home, you know, your family. I see you in your own business. I see you like 
you know, coming back on the mainstream of life. And I see you not just in that category, but I see you even higher than this as a person who will be so highly positioned in life. You're going to be looking back at those persons who, who, who are now walking in your shadows and reflecting something of your past. And I'm going to say, hey, you know, I, I know exactly what you're going through because I've been there. And I said to him, those youngsters are going to say, big man, I lie, you tell you, you know, I got you. And you're going to say, watch a video, yeah. I made this. I made this about this stuff. I mean, you might can read. And then one of them like, John, we are a, a real thing, you know. So, boss, what happened? And I just said, you're going to tell them your story. So, he, he's a game changer. Yeah? He's a game changer. And, and he, he, he's, he's not just waiting for then for it to happen. It's happening now. He's making that impact right now on many, many lives. And I'm happy for that. Brilliant. Thank you so very much. Thank you My so friend. very much, not for joining Design yeah. to Inspire, but thank you so very much for the change and the impact that you made upon Michael and the way you speak. It tells me that is something that you have been doing. Too many of us are sitting by the wayside watching our youth, specifically our male species, wasted. Yeah. And if we continue, believe me, I talk about the extinction of the male species. And when I do talk like that, people will laugh and say, well, then you sound crazy. But if we sit and watch our young men waste their lives, they, you know, we are, they're going to become extinct. So thank you so very much for the work that you do. Let me ask you something. I can't really close this without Michael Bossa one Christian song. No, okay? he's, a, he's a man who loves singing. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> I wasn't ready to close it. I was going to close it in a different way. But Michael, <laughs> you have to sing us. <laughs> yeah, man. Him have, him have a catalog of Christian song for your the youth. You know, yesterday at church, him <laughs> that's true, Michael, you, you can sing to Michael. <laughs> yeah. that's, a, that's a lot of things under your belt, man. You man, can is, sing. Is <laughs> Before you bust the tune for us, Michael, I want to wrap up this way. Um, what what do you see for yourself in the future? What do you aspire to become? No, I'm not asking you anything as it pertains well, to your ultimate, because I don't you be one, I don't know. Ultimate, because they always grow. But where you are now, what do you aspire to become? How do you see yourself in the future? Well, within the next five to ten days, ten years, because I see myself as, uh, well, what is that word? Philanthropist. Is that philanthropist. Word? You want to become yeah, a philanthropist. Yes. Yes. Uh, a, a successful businessman. Mm -hmm. A happy, a happy, a happy, a happy father. You know, a family man per se. But apart from that, I want, I want, I want to be a counselor, a person who, who do you can run to and say, oh, Michael, this are going, you know, you see me? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's where I see myself. I see myself being a part of, of, of the system of change towards the young persons who would have been struggling and having issues. Oh, that's wow. the plan. How would you motivate the millions of Michael who are out there? How would, what would you say to motivate them? Find God. Best, mm -hmm. thing, best thing you could do. So I go mm -hmm. find God and know God for yourself. If you don't know God for yourself, you're going to lose out. You see mm -hmm. me? So find God. I know I say all we are gangsta. You know, man, I don't believe in a church thing. I saw we preach, so you can't matter with the church thing. Because pastor, I go preach for me and think about it. More than I just take a preach for me. You see me? Because I write a thing. Because when you preach for you, go man, body your conscience. You know, so we are the wrong. You see me? So yeah, I just find God for yourself and find some good people we can link with. You see me? You go, Motivate and say, yeah, man, do the right thing, you see me? More like a cut from some company, to, you see me? People are, are going to say, oh, yeah, switch up. But you have to switch sometime, brother, because if you are linked with someone, when I, when I push no good vibes, but you have, you have to switch for them, you know, such a man, a good vibes, me are praying, brother. Someone, someone, I go call me switch up, you see me? But mm -hmm. I say, go sometime, you have to switch for your benefit, you see me? So, mm -hmm. yeah, man, I just need family. Just don't stop God first, you see me? In, anything we are do, Make us a link up with the Father first. I make him know the Father God. I know me and you, you know, for just be right in it. I don't mm. stop pray. Wow. wow. But we all need to find God. Michael, I, I, 
It was a pleasure. You wouldn't even understand how I feel just listening to you. I, it, it, I have this joy in my soul. You see, when I talk to people, they're always saying, oh, you're always talking about the men. You're for the men. What about the women? But it's men like you who give me the hope, you know, that listener, things can change. Things must change. Things will change. Thank you so very much, Michael, for giving me this opportunity to be in your presence. And I'm going to, you know, honor it. Thank you so very much to the mentor, Mr. Green, for giving me the pleasure also to be in your company. And we want to say to you out there, if you're going through challenges, if you're going through issues, by now you know that it's not unique to you. There is a better way. But in order to be success successful, you have to surround yourself with the right people. You have to ensure that you know God. You have to ensure that you know yourself and work on yourself and you cannot do it alone. If you try to do it alone, you're going to be frustrated. You're going to fail. This is designed to inspire where we inspire, motivate, and engage. Be inspired. No, Michael, bust the tune. I want to hear the tune. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You, you have to bust the tune. Come, Michael. We we'll passed the stage of shyness. Come, man. Bust the tune for us. We want I'm, to hear. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get peace out. I'm going to All right. All right. That's it. Which song? I don't even know which song, which song for you. Sing sing the song. Just sing the song that comes to, head, to your mind right now. So I'm here today because God kept me. I'm alive today only because of His grace. He kept me. God kept me. God's mercy kept me. So I wouldn't let go. <laughs> Thank you so very much. <laughs> Thank you so very much. <laughs> right.